Hi everyone, my name is Sirhan. This is my 2021 C8 Corvette that I just washed yesterday. And in today's video, I'm gonna apply a new coat of wax. Now I go through wax quite often. And in my opinion, wax in your vehicle is probably the best thing you can do to make your car look brand new for decades. It's gonna shield against the elements, UV, rain, snow, dust, grime, bugs, etc. So I've tried lots of different brands. Today, I'm gonna try a brand that I've never used before. So I'm interested to see how well it's gonna work. So let's get right to it. So this is the wax that I'm gonna be trying today, Chemical Kai's Butter Wet Wax. I saw it on sale on Amazon, thought I'd give it a try. So like I said earlier, I've tried all sorts of waxes as I'm always waxing my vehicles. I've always used Colonnade Insulator 845 wax for the longest time. It's very durable. The only problem with this wax is you have to let it sit and dry before you wipe it off. And if you leave it on for too long, it tends to leave streaks. I've also tried Meguiar's ceramic wax. This one applies really easy. You just basically apply it and buff it off right away. I don't find it's as durable as Colonite. I've also tried this one recently, the 3D. I've actually really liked this wax. I think it works really good. I've had really good luck with this. Basically put it on and uh, wipe it off right away. It leaves a really nice finish. Durability, I, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd probably get a, a good month out of this. With a colonite, almost a couple months. This, I don't find it's as durable. It gives a really nice finish, but not as durable. So I'm really interested to see how well this butter wet wax is gonna work. It says easy application. It's made out of natural carnauba. Easy on, easy off is what it says. It's a quick application. Let's go ahead and open it because to me, the smell is a big part of the wax. This one I think probably smells better than the waxes that I've used. All of these waxes do have some sort of a chemical smell to them. Whereas I find the butter wet wax, it's hard to describe this, the, uh, the smell, but it, I would describe it as banana and candy. It's got a bit of a sweet smell to it. Let's give it a try. All right, here we go. Now this is a wipe on, wipe off product. When I go to apply wax, I just like to use straight lines because if there's any particles in your applicator pad, you're gonna, and if you start doing it in circles, you're gonna mar the paint and cause swirls. So I just like to go nice straight lines everywhere. It's just a lot more satisfying doing a wax by hand. That way you get into like every part of the car. So basically this one you just apply, just wipe it off. Don't have to let it dry. So that comes off actually pretty easy. It feels, does feel a lot smoother for sure. Oh yeah, that feels really good. The last time I waxed my car was probably a couple of months ago. So it's still got a really nice sheen to it, but this obviously feels a lot smoother. All right, let's just go add some water. And let's see if it makes any difference. So I don't know how well this is getting caught on camera, but I can see a clear difference right away. So this side that was freshly waxed, pretty much dry, there's no water. This side was waxed two months ago with Meguiar's ceramic wax. It did a pretty good job of beating the water away, but you can still see there's sitting water. I don't know how well it's capturing it on the camera, but you can see there's beads of water on this side everywhere and over here, completely dry. Obviously doesn't beat as well which I guess proves you should try to wax your car as often as you can. I don't think you can really wax your car too much, but yeah, really impressed so far. That water test went really well. You can just see how much more hydrophobic the recently waxed side is. So just straight lines. Don't have to let it dry, just buff it right off. Wow, that gives it a really nice deep shine. I'm just gonna go around with my blue wax remover microfiber cloth, and then I'll get my buffing cloth to do a final wipe down after. Because I find it still leaves a tiny bit of haze in some spots. I don't wanna put too much pressure on this cloth, so I'm gonna get as much off as I can using very low pressure, and then I'll come back with my buffing microfiber cloth and just buff the entire car down. But yeah, I like how easy wax comes off. Did I mention how nice it smells? It smells really good, like candy. Some people don't care what, you know, their wax smells like, but to me, that's a big enjoyment I get out of detailing is 
the aroma that you get from some products. Some products smell really nice like candy. And this is one of them. Yeah, I, I pretty much waxed the entire surface of the vehicle. So tail lights, I wax, headlights, all the glass, mirrors. It's just so much easier to clean when the entire vehicle is covered with a coat of wax. Like I said, I wax everything, like the rocker panels, especially the lower part of the car. And underneath the mirror, pillars. So I find the longer you leave the wax on, the harder it is to get off. As a result, you gotta put more pressure to remove that wax. What that does is increase the risk of swirls. So my recommendation is to do small parts as you go. So apply wax to a small area and then wipe it off right away. So I mentioned earlier that when you go to apply the wax, you should apply it using straight lines. That also applies when it comes to removing the wax. Just go in straight lines. You're not gonna get 100% of the wax off, but that's okay, because what we're going to do is come back with a buffing cloth after. So for now, all I'm really trying to do is minimize the risk of swirls. So I'm just using straight lines, light pressure. I'm getting probably 90% of that wax off really easily. So just straight lines for application and removal.
So I'm pretty much done. Applied wax, entire body, both mirrors, windshield, headlights, taillights. Only thing that's left to do is just to go around and remove the last remaining residue of wax. So I'm using this ultra thick microfiber cloth. So this is perfect. That way I can apply some pressure, but not enough to cause any scratches. And it's going to take that remaining residue of wax right off. And it's going to give it a really beautiful spinal touch. So that looks perfect. So I'll show you what I mean. So like, I don't know if you can catch that, but there's some residue of wax right there. So I just go around the entire vehicle and lightly buff all of that wax off. And uh, wow, wow, look at that finish. It's almost like a mirror. So just light buffing, that's all. I'm not putting any pressure. I'll just go around, get all the nooks and crannies where there's still wax, like right here. Oh my god, wow. Just look at that finish. So nice. So I really enjoy waxing my cars. I find it's very relaxing, soothing, and very satisfying when you're done. Today is a holiday and happy Thanksgiving everyone by the way. Hope you're spending good quality time with your family, which I intend to do as soon as I'm done. And I'm almost done here. But what I'll do uh I'll pull it out on the driveway so we can see how this looks in the sun. But that looks uh, really good and uh, feels really nice. Oh, wow. It's like a coat of glass. Gonna do it. So I'm pretty much done waxing the vehicle. So all that's really left is to pull it out on a driveway and we can take a closer look at this new wax under the sun.
what's the verdict? Well, it leaves a great shine. It's easy to apply. It's very hydrophobic. It smells amazing. Uh, the only question is how long will it last? So I'll do a follow up on this, but so far I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this wax. I'm definitely gonna buy this wax again. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.